What's up guys, Harker Hector here, and I want to briefly talk about mechanical keyboard switches because most people consider mechanical keyboards to be the best keyboards out there. Whether you're a gamer, PC enthusiast, typer, whatever, most people use mechanical keyboards. But the thing is, a lot of tech YouTubers just get really in the weeds and get confusing when explaining it. And also there are different keyboard companies out there, so they have different names for pretty much similar products. So I just want to briefly talk about the three different types of key switches, mechanical key switches, which are linear, tactile, and clicky. So I got this little key switch sampler off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. Uh, I can say if you just have some money to spend, if you have 20 bucks to throw away, I would recommend getting this, you know, before you grab a keyboard and replace it or whatever. If you're not satisfied, you might return it. You can return it. But I understand there are some kids out there who are just saving up any cent that they can so just getting a $20 thing when they don't have money to spend on keyboards that's kind of extravagant. So I'm going to explain the three different key switches. First let's go with linear. Linear is just straight down. A key goes straight down, nothing is stopping it. So a lot of gamers usually use this because they want a quick reaction time, they want to press the button, and they want the response to be up there. A lot of uh, professional gamers, I guess. So when you're typing, you don't want to like accidentally kind of brush on it or something and then get a lot of mistakes. I got a linear key switch, I did some gaming, and then I tried to do some typing, and then the typing, I just had so many mistakes. Linear is just quick reaction gaming stuff. If you want to do typing and gaming or if you're just specializing in typing and stuff then i will go with tactile that's what i got with the mx cherry browns and tactile is like you can feel a little bump before it actually registers on the computer maybe you can hear it see there's like a little bump before it registers and then the third type is clicky, which is pretty much like tactile, except there's even more of a bump and there's a clicky sound. So yeah, some people like that. Some people will find that incredibly annoying if you're typing. I mean, imagine typing a whole essay and then you just hear. Some people might find that satisfying. Some people might find that like nails on the chalkboard. It's up to you. So, like I said, personally, I got tactile because it's kind of like uh, you get a little little bump. And when I'm typing, I do a lot of essays, a lot of homework. I want to make sure that I'm pressing that button and it registers. I, I don't want to do a bunch of errors. But if you're just getting a keyboard just for gaming, you don't care about like small errors here and there. It's just boom, boom, boom. Then you go with linear uh, key switches. And I think that's really it. That's pretty much the easiest way to understand the different mechanical keyboard switches. Other than that, you just have to look at the names because Cherry MX has their own switches. Logitech has their own switches. Uh, what is it? Razer has their own switches. So just look into the different names and then just look to whether, look to see if it has tactile, linear, clicky or bumpy, whatever. And of course there are different types of the switches or different uh, lengths, I should say, because there might be different linears, but that means there's different lengths before it actually registers when you push it down. Usually that's what it means. So just a slight press and it registers, or you have to go really bottom out for it to finally register. It usually has the length uh, of the key switch in there. It's like two millimeters, five millimeters, something like that. So as I said, I think that's it. Uh, if you found this video useful, helpful, or whatever, you can give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment also uh, if you have any other questions about keyboard switches, if you didn't think this video was helpful or, or whatever. You know, I'm always happy to have a conversation with other people because I'm trying to inform people about this technical stuff. And so if you guys don't get it, then I'm, I need to find a different way to explain it. So, uh, Oh yes, and also you can subscribe to my channel for more tech-related stuff like this. And then I also do gameplay, commentary, strategy guides, vlogs, whatevs. I guess that's it. See you guys later.